Okay, in this video I am going to focus on the $40 Stanley Spotlight from Walmart and how I was able to add that to my bike. Um, I've never really liked bicycle lights. I didn't think they were bright enough to either see the road or for other motorists to see you. Uh, I always felt like to get their attention I needed to have it on flash and if I had a brighter light that was a little bit of annoying to me having that flash the whole way home and then also I wasn't able to see things in the road. This takes care of both problems although I will say it's not that bright on the road but brighter than bike lights. So like I said I got this light in the automotive department in the back corner of Walmart it's rechargeable and it has these adjustments so I can turn the beam up and down. Uh, the bracket here I will have a picture and I'll show you on the computer a little bit more how I bent it in the place and everything but this is a bracket used to hang lanterns from a tree while camping. As you can see this is the light on during the daytime while well, I guess it's kinda dusk right now uh, even with the bike pointed down, since it's on the stand, it's still quite bright. Uh, I now run this day and night. Basically, I took everything off this handlebar, this side of the handlebar. I took this off so that I could take the handlebar off, squeezed the metal to make these holes bigger, slid this piece on, spread it apart a little bit, put this piece back on, put everything else back on, and then bent the rest of the bracket down. And then also, it had these pieces on it that I then bent inwards to hang up in here. Technically, this bracket, when there's weight on it, holds itself down. I did place zip ties on it to keep it from bouncing up because there's nothing to hold this part down or up against here so it would bounce. Uh, basically all I did was put all three of these zip ties on loosely after I pretty much had the bracket pointed where I wanted it. Then I proceeded to tighten this one and this one in slow increments so that I could direct the light pointed at the ground where I wanted it. You want it pointed out far enough in front of you that you can see ahead of you, but you do not want to point this up into driver's eyes. Um, for the same reason, you don't want them passing close to you or flashing you with their bright lights and stuff like that. You don't want to flash them with your bright lights. It causes a safety hazard to them, and you never know that you blinding them with your light could actually cause them to hit you. Basically this zip tie going through this little handle pulls the light up. This one pulls it down. So both of them kind of reacting to each other holds it in place. Uh, if I wanted to adjust the beam up um, I could cut this off and tighten this zip tie off, up. If I wanted to adjust it down I could cut this off and tighten this one up put a new zip tie on there um, and then when I was done adjusting it to where I wanted I tightened this one up to hold it more in place so it wasn't turning on me and stuff like that also once you have it fully tightened down and zip tied and all of that stuff you can actually take this bracket and push it down or pull it up to adjust the beam where you want it. The only problem with that is the bracket's a little springy so once you push it down it springs back up. So you can't just push it, hold it where you want it and then let go because it'll pop back up. So you actually want to push it slightly past where you want the beam pointing because when you let go then it's going to pop to the position that you wanted it. And that method is going to take a little bit of trial and error. Like I, and that's how I put that light on. Like I said, I'll, somewhere in this video I'm going to splice in how I put this bracket on and a picture of the product that I actually bought.
Okay, here is the image of the tree hanger I used on my computer. I am going to go ahead and invert it for the way that to show the way that it is on my bicycle. Let me get it zoomed in and repositioned here. Okay. So this is the way you basically see it on my bike. I put it upside down. Now right here is the eyelets that go over the handlebars. Basically all I did was I took this part here and I squeezed each side together to try to make this hole a little bit bigger. It took a little bit of work and I had to do one at a time as in I had to take this one, squeeze it in, make the hole bigger, slide it on the handlebar, slide it over till the handlebar hit this same thing here squeeze it together wiggle it around a little bit shove it on there and then basically I shove this all the way over the handlebar was off the stem so I put this over into the center of the handlebar spread these apart a little bit and then put the stem top back on apologize if I'm not using the right terminology for the parts but you'll see on the bike I already showed you on the bike where I am had it attached and everything. Then all I did, held this in place, took this, gave it a wrap around the handlebar again, took it down, and then this part here that's sticking this way, instead of having it stick this way, I bent it so that it pointed this way, and then I pulled this out and put it underneath the handlebar so that and did the same thing for that side so that both pieces are essentially holding it from going up like this and then all I had to do after that was like you seen on the bike put the light right on top of there with the handle in the middle and do the proper positioning via the zip ties Okay, this video is going to be spliced in for the nighttime shoot of my Stanley Spotlight that's on the front of my bike. Uh, this is from the side. Give you some reference here. I'm straight on to the side of the bike. As I walk around, you can see it starts coming into view. I'm pretty close right now. You can see how bright it is. Now I will show you the beam strength. It's got a nice little halo on it, even though it's a spotlight, so I can see directly in front of me. You look up the street a little bit, you can see it moving, and you can see how well it lights up. Um, actually, I have it adjusted a little bit high. Go ahead, push it down a little bit. okay here we go that's better now you can see about how far out in front I'm shining it and you can see pretty bright little light uh, this street actually doesn't have any street lights so it's showing up a little bit better when there's other street lights you don't really see the beam on the road as well as you're seeing it right now <laughs> I am walking to the end of the next trailer as you can see the roads pretty lit up in front of me the beams real nice I'm straight on to the bike <coughs> if I come off to the well I guess I was to the side a little bit come off to the side you see how well someone coming down the street they look over you know if I wanted to cr pull out of a parking spot you see I look over boom it's pretty bright <laughs> 